for an experiment. So, if the doorbell rings, answer it! Yeah, yeah, no problemo. Did you hear a word they said? Uh, something about things and stuff. <laughs> oh, good! Our sand's here! <laughs> yeah, I'll just go get the broom. Ooh, okay. okay, Hugh, stay calm. It's probably just a dream. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Really all we need. I think we might have overordered. What are you gonna do with the rest of it? Huh? It's all yours. We have a Johnny, a talking dog, and ten tons of sand. What do we do? I love Front Yard Beach. There! Castle Dookie is finished. You know, we have a lot of sand here. I think we can go bigger. <laughs> now we're talking. That's bigger. Race you to the sand throne. <laughs> we're going to be king of sand. <laughs> Woohoo! All hail Johnny the Sand King. And for my first kingly act, I hereby knight you, Sir Dookie of Beach. You are as kind as you are, Sandy, my lord. <laughs> Okay, I'm curious. Angar! Touche! Other sword fight words! How's my form? Very nighty. Nice sandcastle test! You mean, your highness, king of the ultimate sandcastleness? Whatever. Can I play? My trusted knight, Sir Duketh, has advised me that yes, you can play. Cool. I'll be a knight too. Yeah, no such thing as girl knights. What? That's dumb. Of course there are. Girls make awesome knights. Right. Listen, sissy, there's lots of things girls can do. It's just being a knight isn't one of them. How about being the royal cook? <gasps> what? <laughs> How's the sand taste, your highness? Hey, give me back my castle. Not until you admit the girls are better than boys. Even if there were girl knights, there's no way they'd be better than me and let me in! Uh, no. So, we have two choices. You could just admit that you're wrong, the easy way, or we can spend the rest of the day trying to get back in, the harder, make Dookie tired way. Hmm, the second one. We're doing the second one! Huh, <sighs> there. The living room is officially sand-free. Hi, Dad! <laughs> What was that? Extreme heat turned sand into glass. And we just did it with lasers. Ooh, lasers. We can use those. I'll take ten to go. Hold on. We don't just hand out lasers without a good reason. Okay, Sissy took control of our castle, and now Johnny needs your sciencey brain's help to get it back. Hmm, maybe we should help Johnny. Castle stealing isn't very nice. I know, right? All I said was girls can't be knights. Say what? <laughs> Will you stop saying things? We don't need science to get the castle back. We can do this the old-fashioned way. Climb, dog! <gasps> nice try, Ted! One, two, three! Sandcastle charge! Ah! 
Finally, we were inside the castle. Can we be done now? <laughs> Is that a yes grunt or a no grunt? Okay, it was a no grunt. And wouldn't it be easier to sit down and discuss this whole thing over a coffee rather than catapult? Ready, set, catapult! <laughs> 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 Hi, Sissy. Nice catapult! Are you ready to say I'm a better knight than you? No, I'm a better knight than you, and I can prove it. Oh, yeah? How? With a who's the better knight contest. Winner gets the castle. Hmm, okay. And when I beat you, you have to tell everyone that you were dot beat by a girl. Yeah, blah 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 it. You're on. So what's the contest? Oh, you're going down. <laughs> Take that! <laughs> okay, you win this round, test. wins this round. <laughs> On your mark, get set, joust! <laughs> oh, no. Charge! Charge! I proclaim it a tie. <laughs> okay, we tied. Now what do we do? We have an idea. Dragon? Where'd you get that? Made it. What? How? A little dino DNA, a few bird chromosomes, a dash of angry badger for attitude, and bam! Dragon. Whoever can tame the dragon first wins the castle and the title of greatest knight. Uh, can we have swords in our wood? No, you might hurt yourself. Besides, our dragon isn't that dangerous. He doesn't breathe fire or anything. Okay, maybe not our best plan. You think? <laughs> well, at least I'm back in the castle. Yeah, but we're stuck in here now. I got this. Training a dragon is no different than training a dog. I trained Dookie and he turned out great. Watch and learn, my sandy subjects. Of it. If I see one more grain of sand, I'm gonna. Hi, Dad! Bye. Hi, Dad! <laughs> hey, dragon! You hungry? Nice, dragon. Good. Help Johnny win contest. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah, he's not hungry right now. Real night show you how it's done, Test. It's all about commanding authority, leadership, showing them who's boss. All right, Dragon, listen up. <laughs> Special delivery for Mr. Dragon. Sissy, run! <laughs> so hot, it turned the sand into glass. Hmm, interesting. Ah! Hey, I totally had that, but thanks anyway, Test. Yeah, well, I figured I can't win the contest if you get all roasted. Huh, so now what? We're stuck. Hmm, I've got an idea, but we're gonna have to work together. Okay, you go to the far side of the yard. We'll take turns drawing its fire. Hey, fire breath! Woohoo! Okay, let's see how well dragons can run on glass. Hey, come and get me, dragon! I'm delicious! <laughs> Quick, use the rope and tie him up! I've got a better idea! Whoa! Awesome! <laughs> whoa, whoa, come on! 
Gonna come back. Down. Something you want to say, Test? Uh, yeah. Think we could forget about the whole girls can't be knights thing because they can totally be knights. Sissy wins. The castle is all yours. Uh, Johnny can keep it. He's a pretty okay knight too. Besides, who needs a castle when you've got your own flying dragon? <laughs> oh, and here. Hey, look! A glass castle! Awesome! You know, I have always wanted a castle made of glass. There! I'm finally finished! Won't be needing this anymore! Castles, they're not all they're cracked up to be. Well, here we are, Abominable Ski Lodge, the greatest ski lodge a tiny bit of money can buy. Oh, ho, ho, I love a bargain. Abominable Ski Lodge. I bet it's named after the Abominable Snowman. He must live around here. Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as an Abominable Snowman. It's called the Abominable Ski Lodge because it's actually an Abominable Ski Lodge. I mean, look at this fireplace. Win three pants! Win three pants! But this arcade game is super lame. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, yeah? Well, the cocoa machine pours perfectly drinkable brown water. Okay, the lodge stinks, but I'm sure it's named after the abominable snowman, and I am going to find him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, go find your abominable snowman. <laughs> I will, and it's going to be totally awesome. Dookie, prepare for the adventure of a lifetime! <laughs> Johnny, are you sure the abominable snowman even exists? And if he does, is pushing you and the sled four inches at a time really the best way of looking for him? The abominable snowman does exist. We just have to keep looking. So let's talk him more. Ah! Face, all right, that is definitely a face. An abominable face. We need to melt him out of there. Say no more, compadre. This tongue was made for licking, and licking's just what it'll do. <laughs> I immediately regret this decision. You know, I was skeptical at first, but this tepid brown water is fantastic. So brown, mm, so tepid. No more cocoa for me. From now on, I'm switching to brown water. Oh, yes, sir. I'm a brown water man. That's nice, dear. <laughs> Come on. He's just an ancient snow Neanderthal imprisoned in ice for hundreds of years. What's the big deal? He's perfectly preserved for science. But what about my tongue? Yeah, what about his tongue? Oh, fine. We'll thaw the ice, but just enough to unfreeze Dookie's tongue. <sighs> Besides, that abominable snowman has been frozen in there for over a millennium. It's not like he'd instantly spring to life and roar or anything. <laughs> she didn't see that coming. Hey, he's not so abominable to me. <laughs> Who's my favorite legendary snow behemoth? It's you. Yes, it is. You're my favorite legendary snow behemoth. Ah! <laughs> abominable snowman, you and I are gonna be best pals. I think you mean second best pals. Ha, ha, ha.
he really knows how to make up for lost centuries. <laughs> Heard a little commotion in here. Nope, uh, no commotion. Just winning pants. Oh. Oop, excuse me. <laughs> Come on, dear. You two have fun. <gasps> Look at all these pants. Pleated, double pleated, triple pleated. <laughs> winning three pants. We've got a code seven nine two. Yeah, we're picking up some sort of cryogenic colossus. Looks abominable. Definitely abominable. That's true. <laughs> Johnny, we have to refreeze your abominable snowman. What? Why? Because he's abominable and wrecking the place. <laughs> yep, textbook abominable. He's not abominable. He's my friend. And the place was already wrecked. Besides, he's not hurting anyone. <laughs> Sorry about that, Johnny. <laughs> Sweet snowmobiles. You want to race? Wish we could, but we're here for the abominable snowman. I'm sure you had buckets of fun with your big, crazy snow ape, but plate time's uh, over. Don't fret, Jenny. We'll take care of him. You'll be subject only to the safest of painful testings. Abominable snowman? Nope, no, I haven't seen one. I don't even think they exist. Uh-huh. Then what's that big hairy thing? <laughs> hey, I resent that comment. Oh, you mean him. Oh. Well, you know, it's interesting you mentioned that because we're not run dog! Dip it, brown water! <laughs> Slide, snowman! Launch! Launch! Go! Go, go, go! Woohoo! Oh, yeah! Here, snowman, snowman, snowman! What are you doing? Luring the abominable snowman! <laughs> Not like that you won't. You have to use the proper dialect when calling an abominable snowman. <clears throat> that only made him angrier! Uh, I guess he's just not that into me. They just won't let up. We've thrown everything at those guys. Almost everything. <laughs> Ten four. We're taking projectile beaver fire. Invasive action. Invasive. Wait. We just went in a big circle. Who cares? At least we lost him. Not quite, Johnny. We also have a recon attack helicopter. Sorry to do this to you, Johnny, but this thing is a monster, a menace. He's a monster, all right. Look what he did to our room. <laughs> Guys, please don't do this. Sure, maybe Abominable Snowman looks a little scary, but when you get to know him, he's actually a pretty great snow guy. He's sensitive, fun, and wouldn't hurt a fly. Really? He threw a family of beavers in my face! He was scared. He's just misunderstood, not abominable. Look in your hearts and do the right thing for me, please. Nah, sorry. No dice, Jenny. Hey! You can't! He's not an abominable snowman! He's my abominable snow friend! Uh-oh. To the chopper! Did you get gas? Check the parking brake! Jiggle the ignition! Oh, for Pete's sake! I can't fly a recon attack helicopter when you yell at me like that! Johnny, he was a snow hero. Huh? Ah! Abominable snowman! Abominable snowman! Look, every 
breathe. Can't breathe. Giant snow beast thing, you may have destroyed the entire lodge, causing me to lose my deposit, but you saved our lives. You're A-OK -okay in my book. You were right, Johnny. Once you get to know him, he's not so abominable after all. We're sorry for thinking you were so terrifying. Well, now what? We can't just refreeze him and put him back in an ice cave. Oh, I think we can find the perfect job for him. <laughs> He's scoring off the charts. We've never seen a snowman with such incredible spy skills.